Good morning. It's actually Monday. Uh, I did not film at all yesterday. I was working really hard. Actually, Sundays are my days that I have homework to do. I just was sitting in a couch all day, and I know that's not much different than some of my days, but I have found it a little bit more difficult to film here while I'm staying with Dawn. It's just weird to film when you're seeing a friend and spending time with them. I am working on getting better about that. I know that everyone else that does this does the same thing. But yeah, today I ended up changing my plans a little bit. I'm staying a little bit longer. I was supposed to be leaving today, but I'm actually not gonna leave again now until Friday. So today Dawn is at work and I am going to be doing my own work and editing the first video to be put up because things got a little weird, but I've already explained that in the first video. Yay. I'd like to let everyone know that I just spent a good five minutes looking for my car keys, including searching through all of the bags that I have here and freaking out. They were in my pocket. So we're good. Sheets is one of my favorite places ever to get food and I never get to do it when I'm home. So I got some today because it's right down the road from Dawn and I'm pumped. So while Dawn is working both yesterday and today, I've been hanging out in the apartment, doing some homework and it's consisted of a lot and a lot of reading. Last week and this week, for some reason, my class has just been really busy. Like, we've just had a lot of assignments due. And so it's difficult to try to balance that along with traveling and everything else. But I think I'm managing to do okay. Point being that, like you saw yesterday, I went out and got sheets for lunch. Today, I decided to drive a little bit further and go to Panera and hang out there for a little bit. It was not nearly as productive of a lunch as I had hoped. <laughs> there were a lot of people around and I kept reading a paragraph and then realizing that I had no idea what that paragraph said because I was getting distracted by people's conversations around me. Ended up giving up and not being able to read. So I came back here to read a little bit more so that I can actually get my homework done. But part of the reason that I was getting so distracted was that today was the first day that I've actually been around people that have the North Carolina accent. Now I know that sounds so weird since I've been here since Thursday night <laughs> and it's already Tuesday, but I guess in this area and like the people that Dawn knows from around here, none of them are native North Carolinian, North Carolinian. They're not native to North Carolina, but there's a definite accent here in North Carolina. It's definitely Southern. I got thinking about accents and what it's like to be in a place where the people that are native there have accents. So to me, if you're from somewhere that has a very defined accent, well, first of all, you're probably not gonna think that you have one. I don't feel like I have a very strong Eastern Shore accent, except in certain situations and like when I'm around my grandmother a whole lot. The group of people that share the same accent, like that is a community, that's a shared group that kind of like puts you in the in-group. So when you go to visit a place that has an accent different than your own, it can be a little bit alienating. Like you feel that there is this group that you just can't get into, like you just don't fit there. And so when I went to England, it was the same way, or when I've been to Boston, or anywhere down south really. You know, it's kind of like you go into a place, a store or something, and you interact with someone who has that accent and you know, they know immediately you are not from there because you don't share that accent. Accents are, are weird. I really love them. I think they're really interesting. It's kind of sad to be on the outside when you're in a place and everyone's got this accent. By no means does this mean that you shouldn't go <laughs> traveling to a place where the people have an accent different than yours. That's the end of my thoughts on that. That was really long. It's probably going to take up way too much of the vlog. Good morning, it is Wednesday. I'm in the grocery store, I don't know, I just wanted to film something today. My hair is wet, I apologize. Uh, we're getting clear liquids for Dawn, because <laughs> we don't want her to starve. Yay, I'm gonna stay alive, woo! <laughs> yes, I have a lot of work to do today, so I'm a little worried that I probably won't be filming too much more. We're going to Raleigh tomorrow, and then on Friday I'm leaving. What I have decided though is that 
earlier, I thought I had packed way too much, and what it turned out to be is that I was able to stay twice as long as anticipated because of how much clothes I have. Basically, I'm always prepared for that situation, it just only has occurred this time. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning and I am on the long road back to Maryland. I didn't film at all yesterday. It was kind of a weird day and there wasn't like a whole lot that I could film, so I apologize for that. Hopefully, now that I'm gonna be getting back home and back on my schedule, it'll be better, but this week is just gonna be so choppy. <laughs> I am like two and a half hours out so it probably means I'm like two and a half hours in. I'm about halfway, I would say. Traveling is weird. Traveling is really weird alone. Uh, when, <laughs> when it's just you and five or six hours of road. It's very strange. But my biggest traveling tip is to download some audiobooks. I actually just finished the one that I started on the way down. About to start a second one. But I did notice that when it was like really intense traffic wise, I completely missed out on like a good 15 minutes of the book. So, oh well. I would say audiobooks or podcasts, really good idea for long drives. As long as you're comfortable having your mind engaged in two ways, that's fine. Back to audiobooks and driving. I've made it back home and Suki is really happy about it. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over everything. They say time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't done much healing. I'm going to my going away party tonight, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take you along. Teachers drink alcohol. It's a fact of life. You should teach the children the facts. The facts. Wake up, America. Rachel, how do you feel about that? I feel like. <laughs> this one, huh? I was on the Sarara Rock. And we got. Quack, 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 quack. quack. So it's 1.30 in the morning and I am back from the party that you saw earlier. And I guess while we were at the party, it was just kind of like becoming well known about what was going on in Paris and what had happened earlier. And I was like scrolling through my newsfeed and kind of feeling it at the party and now I got home and I've been scrolling through my Twitter feed and reading things about it and I feel like it's so hard to remember at times like this that like there are actually good things. Just saw a tweet from Hank Green about how as bad as the actions were today in Paris, there were so many people doing things out of kindness and love, and it's really good to focus on that kind of thing. I don't know why this has hit me so hard. It's just, the world can be like a really scary place. I'm so sad and so scared for the people involved and they will be in my thoughts and I wish for them that things will get easier and that they will feel safe again. And I extend my condolences to anyone who has lost anyone. You want to believe that the world is a good place because it feels better. It's weird when stuff like this happens because you almost get angry when you're looking at social media and trying to learn more about it and then you are scrolling through your various feeds and you see people posting things that are unrelated and even happy and <laughs> you wonder how they could be doing stuff like that. 
when something so horrible has just happened and you feel bad that you are so privileged to have not just gone through something like this. I loved Paris. I've been thinking a lot in light of the events of the last day about helping people. Part of my big drive for the past several years has been figuring out like where I best fit in um, in order to be able to help others and to make the world a better place. And I've been struggling to figure out how to use the things that I'm good at to reach out to people and basically be able to help other people. Part of the whole reason that I decided I wanted to get this degree in teaching is because of this desire to make a difference in kids' lives and to get them excited about learning. Give them just like a good experience in school because I feel like that's something that a lot of kids lack and that's where a lot of problems come from. But this is kind of something I'm a little embarrassed or ashamed of is that like I haven't really had a whole lot of experience growing up uh, doing volunteering things. I feel like I've always been so busy and never made time to do that and it's something that I've always regretted, like something that I've always really wish that I had done. I really want to find a good opportunity to volunteer and to help people to take the privileges that I've had in my life and use them to be able to make other people's lives better in, in the best way that I can. So I'm a little stuck at the moment. I probably talked about this, but I kind of live in the middle of nowhere. I feel like there are more accessible volunteering opportunities in more urban areas, places where there's more things going on. So I'm really just trying to brainstorm how I can make a difference from where I am until I get to the place where I'm able to move. Yeah, I don't know. That's the thought for today been brainstorming, thinking about that while doing my homework. If you guys have any thoughts, feel free to let me know. Where's Elise? Where'd she go? Uh -oh. You better go find her.